in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hallelujah. I'm seeing the number seven and I'm seeing a mantle for restoration. Is coming on seven people. Bring, bring them out too. Seven. For one of them, several things have gone wrong in your life and family. You are not directly in ministry, but I'm seeing this anointing. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I speak by the Spirit of God. Please help our mother. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Restoration, may that mantle come upon you. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength. Hallelujah. Who is Abiodun? I'm hearing the name Abiodun. Is there someone carrying that name? Abiodun. Abiodun, the Abiodun I'm seeing is wearing a black suit. Is there someone like that? Abiodun, you are wearing a suit. What's your name, sir? Just verify first. What's your name, sir? Abiodun. You, you are a member here? No, sir. You came for this meeting. You yes, believe sir. in Jesus? Yes, what do you do? I'm, I'm just working on my own. I'm going to pray for you. You believe that God can lift you? The Lord is bringing restoration to your life. I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus, I command this wicked spirit that has tied you down and tied your destiny down to give way now. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. My friend, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I just saw an anointing. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never... Be the same again. Madam, the Lord is saying, I should tell you, I don't know who this woman is, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he's restoring. The month of April is your month. God is bringing strange restoration, even by the Spirit of God. Is there someone called Caleb? I'm hearing a name, Caleb. 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 There is a woman here. The name of your son is Caleb. Who is that? Caleb. Huh? I came because of Caleb. Can, can you help us with the mic? Oh, you came here because of Caleb. Is it technical help? Huh? We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give.
give you praise for you are highly lifted up for some God you are highly lifted up mama please stand up are you a member of this church you can, what's wrong with Caleb Caleb used to be very, very devoted to God. I sent him to Canada. I don't understand what's happening to his faith. As I speak to you, he has blocked my line. You see, my dear people, hear me. There is no limit. One communication of the prophetic with balance is about to save this woman and save her child right now. Now, but hear me. This is the warning. Because many of us, when God begins to use us like this, back to my prior discussion, I am a man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. It is that pride and, and lack of brokenness that stops God from advancing with His grace and gift upon our lives. There is nothing extraordinarily I'm doing here. You see, look at this woman. How can I stand here? and come and sit and know that a woman is suffering with a now imagine this woman came for a minister's conference and she believed that she came for her son how in the world can i know that her son is in canada i've never met you i don't even know who this woman is man of god this is how far god can take you when you become broken enough this has nothing to do with being an apostle or prophet or whatever no it is how far God is willing to solve the problems of people. Now, let me ask you a question. Is Jesus glorified in this process? Because if this same woman comes with that her son, Caleb, and holds him, that boy is in Canada. Mama is here. But you can see her crying because of the pain. This is what should happen in church. That people should come and know that they met Jesus. Jesus glorified more than a man of God being glorified question how do you have empty pews under this condition mama in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God you will never forget this conference for what God will do I release that grace upon you out the spirit that is at work in Caleb that would not allow him to serve God by the rod of a higher priesthood I decree and declare right now here at this conference we declare restoration for Caleb yeah. hallelujah IK I think your name is IK now but they call you IK IK for short I have just a few minutes is there someone like that IK where are you You love Jesus God is going to use you but there is a lot of work that God needs to do with you my friend huh don't be embarrassed there eh? this is a minister's conference our father here too your son is IK no problem I'll pray with you that's all right please just leave them I want to pray for you where are you coming from sir huh Ujota. Ujota. no I mean state of origin I want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of Christ tying down your destiny it must give way daddy please place your hand on your chest I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down high blood pressure this is BP is that true yes huh? yes sir I want to pray for you it's going down now there is a name above every other name look at our father at this age this man is crying from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be Adonai. Adonai. 
Daddy, please do not cry. Honestly, I feel so touched. Someone please help this man with in the name of Jesus, I pray for you, sir. Standing in faith with the grace upon the man of God, and I declare first for your BP. High blood pressure goes down now. Are we agreeing with this man? It goes down now. And I pray for your son, IK. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be your desire. Where is he? What does he do? He's working with he's working at home. He's working with a company. I'm seeing God. That gentleman is going to be a big businessman. You see, yes. I don't know, but I'm seeing the name Onicha. You see, that name Onicha. God is going to connect him to someone within that place. Let him not fight it when it happens. There is a hand of God that has gone before him. Okay. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let it be so. In Jesus' name I pray. Please sit down in one minute. Huh? Okay, this gentleman, let me pray for you. You see, you are as good as your friends. You are as born again as your friends. If you are born again and your friends are not very serious, it will eventually affect you. Are we together? I'm speaking in parables. You hear what I'm saying, my friend? Don't be, there's no such thing as we're classmates, we grew up together. You must get to a point in your life where anybody who is not pro kingdom in your life they must remain at the outer court you must culture your relationships if you intend to be serious with god father help your son in the name of jesus christ let that grace rest upon you in the mighty name of jesus christ let that grace rest upon you i'm hearing the cry of a baby I'm hearing the cry of a baby. The cry of a baby. Is there someone here who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb? I'm hearing the cry of a baby. This is what I'm hearing in my ears. Look at this. Help her, my God. You will be surprised to see what the God of heaven. Shalina haske de branda gaduzi atala kusi aprahastana. All of you who are coming, except if you are standing for someone, but please make sure you are married, otherwise go back to your seat. Praise the name of the Lord. You are trusting God for a baby? Madam, shout Jesus. My sister, look at me. Lift your hands. Shout the name Jesus. Just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that demon. My friend, look at me. This man. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. I correct what the doctors have told you is stopping fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to believe in the power that is in the name of Jesus. The Lord will surprise you. Take your eyes away from the medical report and trust the Lord. Just believe what I'm asking you to do. My sister, this lady, I'm seeing fire coming on you. This is what I'm seeing now. And I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Now in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let that demonic thing leave you now. I want to pray for all of you because I heard the cry of a baby. The power of God will come upon you as I pray for you. Father, every legal access that the devil has over their fruitfulness that will not allow you to enjoy the blessings of fruitfulness right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare, release them now, 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 now. Release them now, now. Paros Kadekapa. Release them now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I declare to you, like Eli spoke over Hannah, according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, according.
according to the time of life let there be fruitfulness for you now help this man help this man in the name of jesus fruitfulness now Your name is to be hallowed. I declare to you, as you have come out, you will come out again. But this time you will not be alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, that woman there, is it for yourself or for someone else? Huh? This woman. For my daughter. What where is she? She's in Delta State. Mama, I will pray with you, but lay hand on your own stomach. The miracle is for you first. There is something God wants to take out of your stomach. Is that true? Huh? Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital for it? Yes, I will sir. pray with you. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Release Mama now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Even before I pray for your daughter, I'm praying for you. They will not tell you something is growing in your stomach that requires surgery. I command it to go now. Be released right now. And we pray for your daughter. Even as you have stood in for her, let there be supernatural correction right now. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Return to your seat rejoicing. Spare me 10 minutes and we're done. Please sit down. Five requirements for effective ministry. Five requirements for effective ministry. Number one, every ministry, particularly the fivefold now, but it extends to every facet of ministry every ministry that will excel in today's world every ministry that will thrive and represent the purposes of God must have these five pillars if they are not there you cannot have fruitful ministry number one a mandate or a message every ministry that must excel must have a mandate and have a ministry a, a message many preachers have messages many preachers have series but you must have a mandate and a message that becomes the dimension of god committed to you your mandate in that universal plan there is a mandate apportioned to you if you are oral robots your assignment is to take the healing power of jesus to the nations if you are in hard bunker of blessed memory your mandate is to bring the healing and the saving grace of Jesus to Africa. There must be a mandate that drives your life. John 3, 16. Jesus himself was speaking to Nicodemus and he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have life everlasting. Very clear, very simple. Most people do not have the message. Acts chapter 2 and verse 36. Your message is very, very powerful because that is where your value comes from. Can I tell you, it is the message that makes the messenger powerful. The messenger is not independently powerful. He is as powerful as his message. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God had made the same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ simple message in one sentence do you have a mandate and the message every church every pastor every apostle every prophet in as much as generally speaking we have a corporate agenda of revealing and glorifying jesus but there are dimensions to that call and there has to be a clear definition just help those under the anointing You see, this is why you find out that many people are many things according to circumstances. 
the man can stay today and find out that the evangelistic seems to be most marketable and he becomes an evangelist then he finds out that the pandemic has really stopped crusades and quickly switch to prophecies because you can do one on one and then all kinds of things this 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 confusion around the body of christ is because there is no mandate can i tell you every church including this must have what the bible calls the things that are most surely believed among us if this is a healing ministry then i expect that the greatest conviction you should have should be along the area of the power of god to heal if it's a ministry that has been mandated to raise people financially as a contribution to the larger picture you should not have members doubting the god who can supply luke chapter 4 when you look chapter 1 when you read from verse 1 to 4 right he was speaking to theophilus dr luke and he said that the things that are most surely believed among us everybody said the mandate can i tell you every attack on a man of god every attack on a minister is an attack on the message it is not an attack on you help him please the goal of every attack it does not matter in what dimension it comes when satan attacks you every attack has one singular assignment to discredit the message and the mandate so that your voice will no longer be heard You protect your ministry by protecting the message the apostle said this is the message we have received from the beginning we were given a message as ye go preach saying go with that message the signs will follow the message the mandate are we blessed your message also defines your unique contribution to the body of Christ everybody cannot be everything no matter how yielded you are you must be able to brand your impact with your message your message is what brands you your impact very quickly number two the second requirement when you sort the issue of your mandate is the vehicle or the strategy that will drive that message the vehicle or the strategy that will drive that message that means is that message going to be driven using the pulpit is it going to use business the geography of your witness can i tell you it's not enough to know your message you must know the vehicle and the strategy that will drive that message that's where we talk about the concept of the seven mountains the mountain of religion family politics business education media arts and entertainment these seven mountains they represent the platforms where you can stand upon to make sure that that mandate is heard very important most people have a clear message but they do not understand that until you have a strategy a vehicle in this case now the pulpit the pulpit is the strategy or one of the strategies and the vehicles given to the man of God to communicate that prophetic dimension that God has given him number three very quickly what do you need for effective ministry an organized platform you need an organized platform you need an organized platform it's not enough to know you are sent to business you are sent to the fivefold ministry there has to be an organized platform that brands your impact are we together look at me when you hear Holy Ghost Congress what comes to your mind when you hear Shiloh, what comes to your mind? When you hear power must change hands, what comes to your mind? Do you ever confuse it? Because more than the mandate, there is an organized platform that brands your impact. When you hear Coca-Cola, do you think of uh, what other? Huh? Do you think of Pepsi? No. 
they are all watches but when you hear a rolex watch you don't think of others because they brand themselves when you think adidas what do you think of you see isn't that interesting that adidas has nothing to do with football yet when you call adidas it is football you think about and yet they are a clothing line because they want they knew that their greatest sales will come from that area and so they connected their relevance to football so every time you call adidas look up please whenever you want to go and buy seasoning most times what do you say you are buying whenever you want to buy toothpaste what do you say you are buying oh so you know this here too that is the power of an organized platform there are many people today can I tell you this if you want to be relevant in ministry make sure that as you rise your platform rises too it is the mistake that was made with the West and the reason is because of other issues like taxation finance and the rest so they have personal ministry you will be surprised now don't feel embarrassed Oh, no i shouldn't say this i'm on life but you see there are times that you can know a man of god and not even know the name of his church is that true but you see the danger with that kind of setting is you cannot reproduce your results you can't raise other people the job of a platform is to allow for continuity beyond you are we together now apostle babalola is long gone yet the platform of cac still continues to raise men is that true an organized platform number three number four I wrote here that And verse 20 divine backing is the sixth divine backing and they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following confirming the word with signs following Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20 still on divine backing still on divine backing Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 Matthew 28 20 teaching them to observe you is with you divine presence and that backing how do I sit down for instance and say there is somebody called Caleb do you know that level of risk imagine if every case I called here nobody came out imagine if I said the power of God will come on you and the person is looking at me you are enjoying it because you see it happening and you see the results you see and this is not just the issue of faith this is an issue of trust because there is a history to it your faith can graduate to trust when you keep archiving the history of God's faithfulness a time comes you know 
because it is true what you know because there is a track record are we together but right now God is going to tell you after this meeting to try it too and, <laughs> and many of you are going to make mistakes that will surprise you you will leave a meeting you were invited in as if you came for a funeral don't worry be very honest and you are not you are not a habali so learn with honor you will hear john and you will say john the person will say my name is james not john <laughs> how about your third child who say i'm not even married <laughs> and members can give you a look that are you sent who brought this man here don't worry it's better to train yourself and fail with honor so that the day you get it those who laughed at you will be witnesses and said we knew when he was in the school of the spirit say divine backing every time we travel we travel knowing that there is a hand that backs us as i stand here i know that there is a hand that backs and defends me this is why when we speak we know that you will return with testimonies for instance like this woman that the hand of god is touching this mama you this one lifting her hand i'm seeing oil coming on her head right now this woman you see now you imagine this how do you take that kind of risk something is coming on you in the name of jesus christ that others who saw you will say is saul also one of the prophets and i'm prophesying to you by the power that raised christ from the dead every ability that has functioned on this altar by the man of god by myself and every other man of god who has been here and will be here this combined graces may it rest upon your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please hear me now i want to give you one last key one last key the last key that I will leave with you if you truly want to break through in ministry is the power of sacrifice. Psalm 50 verse 5. I'm not necessarily talking about money. Don't frown. Just listen. <laughs> Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me whether you serve satan or you serve god sacrifice will be required somewhere my sister i'm seeing a hand come on this lady and the lord is saying he's opening a new chapter that lady help her in the name of jesus christ now please pay attention our time is up sacrifice the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your life you will never effectively do ministry when you want to be everywhere can i tell you ask the man of god when you answer the call of god upon your life there are things that you have given up as a sacrifice now our generation with an appetite you cannot you cannot i'm not please don't feel bad you can't be traveling every time to go and watch manchester football in the stadium there and you're an apostle and you're an evangelist thank god for it maybe when you're on vacation but you cannot have the passion of a footballer and have the grace of a man of god it does not work that way you cannot give god part-time commitment and get full-time anointing now this is the part that most people do not want you pray for 10 minutes pray for five minutes study your bible carelessly for two minutes and you want god to trust you with the grace and the unction for nations it does not work that way say the power of sacrifice i beseech ye brethren romans 12 verse 1 by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies unto god holy and acceptable he says a, a, a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god he calls it your reasonable act of service or worship verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed it takes time to know god it takes time to learn doctrine it takes time 
to study the materials of those who have gone ahead of you it takes time to be consistent with the holy spirit there are times god will ask you to lock yourself and for a day two days three days there you see this our generation of preachers don't know anything about retreating yourself to flog it out with god people fast by 12 they are shaking as if they are they are they are on on, on a um, um, on drip or emergency or something like that can i tell you don't let anyone fool you there are impartations from men of god but there are wells you must dig by yourself i can assure you on that if you want the anointing you must be willing to lay down you cannot get the anointing without laying down something when elijah wanted to command fire from heaven the prophets of baal as they kept calling baal and he refused to come they started lacerating one another that was the last card to call him they blood 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 out of their body they understood something about the relationship between fire and sacrifice are we together when it was now time for elijah to bring it he set 12 stones the covenant and he puts a sacrifice on the altar and he said pour water on it he said god the stage is set and fire came down if you become that fire and that sacrifice then you are ready for the anointing most people are not ready for the anointing they are ready for the excitement that the anointing brings they are ready for the honor that the anointing brings can i tell you genuine mantle and genuine fire comes at the instance of sacrifice I have not really had the time in all fairness I will tell you to properly sleep in days now I have my way of just working things out we were just discussing I think it was yesterday and I was just thinking to myself the man of God was saying he's traveling to this um, Dr. Lumide was saying he's traveling and, and you just think about this and you're saying whoever told people that ministry is for lazy people they think all it takes is just preach sit down in the office take coffee while people just stream in with dollars and honorarium whoever gave you that narrative is destroying you at least when you are employed by the government you have your time seven to five or four whatever time after that they don't have a right to disturb you without rewarding you but there are times on earth that both god and men need your attention if men allow you rest, God can say, wake up, two o'clock, and you are moving around your house as if you're a madman. For a burden that is not your business, you are moving around because a disobedient member is getting into trouble, and God is waking you up to midwife that trouble. Are you ready for the pain of ministry? They met Jesus and said, we want to sit down at your left and right, and he asked them a question, can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism? This is the last prayer point and I'm done. You are going to lay hands on your head and say, Lord, whatever price it takes to obtain the anointing and the grace for my generation for this season, for my season of advancement and relevance, I obtain grace for place in business. Find your place in ministry. If it is the prophetic, find it now. The apostolic, find it now. The pastoral, find it now. Let me pray over your finances. Please look up. There are many dimensions to wealth and abundance. Principally, it comes through your value packaged to products and services and served with excellence to a targeted consumer base. That's what you call business. But there are other dimensions to it. Value, relationships, laws of increase, but to the believer we are not left without an advantage there is the prophetic dimension of wealth wealth by the finger of god he said believe in the lord your god so shall ye be established believe in his prophets so shall you prosper i want to speak over your life please believe in I stand by the mantle of God upon my life and I decree and declare 
may the heavens be open over you financially may the heavens be open over you financially in the name of Jesus Christ hear me when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he said we were like help that lady please my God we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the Lord had done great things for us he said the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every captivity, help that lady please. I turn it around right now. 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 Go and prosper. Prosper in ministry. Go and prosper. Prosper in business. Go and prosper. Prosper in family. Go and prosper prosper in career go and prosper prosper in this city i command lagos to be open for you now and let me pray over every member of this great assembly serving with joy serving with passion for the bible declares that a worker is worthy of his wages in the name of jesus christ I decree and I prophesy I use this as a point of contact to all the branches across the world connecting by faith the global family of this vision I decree and declare rise to a new dimension I declare advancement for you in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Heavenly Father I pray that your people will never be the same go from glory to glory and grace to grace in jesus name dr emerson thank you may the lord honor you in jesus name